Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, another Wednesday, another shave. And as you've seen by the thumbnail, I say it every week, but haven't we just got a good one lined up for you today? We'll run through things in a moment. First off, let's get this razor, razor, let's get this brush into soak. This is the DCJS 101 prototype. That's the David Cunniff John Shaves 101 brush. There you go. David Cunniff made that for me. He put an old half pence in there from 1967. That's my birth year. I know you all gasp, don't you, when I say that, but it's true. And then we've got that in the official John Shaves Super Soaker. Got that in there. Razor we're going to be using today. Gifted to me from Bradley in Texas. Thank you, Bradley. There you see it on the bottom. It's the icon. Can you see it? It's fading away, but it says icon. That's the icon X3 slant razor. That's there. We'll get that there before we go any further. This website is now defunct, but it's still um, up, not operating anymore, but it's still up. It's the best one I could find for the information here. It says the Icon X3 slant aluminium safety razor is a light and provides an efficient, smooth shave. The exclusive 90 millimeter bulldog knurled handle weighs in at 80 grams and is 13 millimeters in diameter, crafted entirely from stainless steel and hard chrome treated to be scratch resistant with a matte finish. The Icon logo is on the base. Aluminium head measures uh, means the X3 weight in total is 100 grams. Cord Icon X3 Aluminium DC. There you go. But that's it there. Absolutely wonderful. Looking forward to using that. And Steve D sent me all them blades. You see that unboxing? He sent me all them blades and he sent me these. I can't remember using these. I don't think I've used them. I really don't. I'm looking forward to using Thank you, Steve. We'll get that in there. We'll get this blade in here. Oh, there you go. Do you know now I'll look at them, I think, you know, I think I may have used them. Have these changed name? The blade looks familiar, but the outer packaging doesn't. Here we go. There you go. We'll get that razor blade in there. We'll get that in there. And we'll get that in there now. Look. Can you see? It looks quite mild, but I have a feeling it's going to be very efficient. We'll get that in there in the super, super soaker next to the brush just to get some heat in that blade. We're going to balm up with tobacco balm. I was trying to be clever then and try and catch it with that hand and that. <laughs> And we're going to splash up with tobacco original splash. But here's the one you've all been waiting for the pièce de résistance. You may have seen it in a, a couple of videos ago. You may not. There it is the tobacco. Get that lid. Nice sealed lid. The tobacco is in there. Oh my lord. Somebody said to me, tobacco's a marmite scent. I don't think it is. Everybody I've ever known has absolutely loved tobacco. And if you've never sniffed tobacco, you've never smelt tobacco, you've never used tobacco, I personally think you are missing out. I think it's an absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful scent. Here we go. We went on the English Shaving Channel. Channel. The English Shaving Company. Here you go. Come down the bottom here. Here's where it is. Made in Germany, tobacco original shaving soap has been popular with vet shavers since the 1950s. Formulated to soften the beard and facilitate a close shave. Fragrance top notes, neroli, lemon, black pepper, bergamot, pettigrain. Mid notes, carnation, sandalwood, vetiver, musk and ambergris. Heart notes, lavender, chamomile, geranium, geranium and oakwood. I mean, guys... <laughs> This is an absolutely, oh, it's a phenomenal scent. And I got this little eBay find, little glass pot there. So there's nothing on the bottom. It's all the various different ships on it that have been used um, to sail the seven seas. I don't know what connection they've got to tobacco. 
maybe they brought tobacco i don't know there you go so we're going to wet the face we're going to crack on um, and it's going to be a bit subdued a bit of a a bit of a flyer when i say i got in from work late today i got in mega 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 late today um i was um I was tootling along quite nicely and then I got a phone call uh, and the phone call was something along the lines of um, somebody has to go to Skelmers, which is about 40 miles away. Somebody's got to go to Skelmersdale and pick up some stuff. Um, will you go? Uh, and I said, yeah, I'll go. Do you want to go first thing in the morning? I said, I'll get a flyer on and I'll go now. And I went, it made me late, but it's done now. It makes things easier in work tomorrow. But anyway... But you just love that sound. Look at this. How long's that been? Seconds. Look at that. Lovely big long, long brush. Thank you, David Cunning. Look, it's in there a treat. This tobacco scent strength, I would put at a six. Maybe even more than that, but don't forget this tobacco. I've grated and switched pots with it about three times. I've got the original bowl that it came in, in there, back in its original packaging and putting away. I was using it and using it was going down and going down so I decided to take it out so I could keep the ball you know in optimum condition. I was going to bring it in but I've got this one now. Look at this. Absolutely wonderful it is. Gonna have a good shave. There you go. Look at that. Look at this guys. Mmm it's, it's just wonderful. Wonderful. This brush is nice as well. Thank you David. That's a Dave shave today, isn't it? David Cuniff. Oh no, it's Steve. It was Steve D for the blades, wasn't it? But look at this, guys. I wasn't going long with that, was I? Hello. And you could. What you could. You could just go. Keep going and keep going. But look at this. Absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. It's gone everywhere, look it's all nice. It's a lovely lather, it's a lovely scent. Let's see how we go, where we're going to start. We'll start there. Right, now, yeah. I don't know if it's the blades or me not dialing it in, but that feels mega, mega mild. It's probably me. I try and use a different razor. Every shave. Or rotate them well, you know, so that you've got something to look at. I actually, the brush I actually picked up today was a PA Starcrafter. I was talking with somebody during the week. I just, for some, I actually like it. I think it's one of the, to me personally, it's one of the, PES, better looking razors. Uh, I just love the retro look of it. But yeah, for some strange reason, I never seem to pick it up. I think that might have something to do with a little tea leaf that lives next door who shaves her legs regularly and has taken a real little shine to it. Well, look, uh, yeah. I can feel this razor now, yeah. Um, Yes, yeah, so it's been a long one. I mean, I was up at half past four. I left the house at quarter to six. I started work at quarter to seven. Never got back here today till about almost five o'clock. Um, my wife and daughter were going out with my granddaughter. That's the only reason I'm filming, to be honest with you. Because we were. I was just going to do the thumbnail and post a video tomorrow but um, they had to go out and I was in on my own so I had some lunch we call it tea over here I know in the States they call it dinner not your dinner, your dinner is what you have at 12 o'clock your midday meal in the evening it's your tea oh my word I've had my tea uh, I was going to jump in the shower. Oh, 
But I like, when I come out of the shower, we're creatures of habit, aren't we? It didn't used to bother me, but as I get older, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like doing anything. Once I get out, I have a shower most nights. I have a shower, 8.30, 9 o'clock. When I get out of the shower, I don't like to do anything. I like to settle down, have a hot drink, chill out, just relax, and then maybe go to bed later on. Yeah, I can feel that. That's a very, very deceptive razor. Feels like it's not doing anything. And a couple of passes in, and you can notice that. You certainly can. The shaving soap, very, very slim. That tobacco, it just gets, just gets the job done. And for the money, oh, and interestingly enough, I went on Amazon and they're calling it Tobacco Original. Look at that, look. They're calling it Tobacco Original. Uh, and it's got all kinds of tallow weight in it, so I don't know if that's the old or the new recipe. But this, I bought this before, years before anybody was mentioning about the change in the recipe. Mm. This is absolutely fantastic. It's not the shave I had planned for tonight. But you know, sometimes you've just got to kick it old school, haven't you? You have. Kick it old school. Why are you, John? Hey, John the, <laughs> John the 90 skater boy. Oh my word, but yeah, um, I kind of like a comfort shave. I don't have to think about it. Make you feel good. Prep you for when you get in that shower shave. I like to have a shower after I've had a shave. I love the feel of the warm water on my bare naked skin. Um, and then when I towel dry, oh, it feels so good. It feels so good, guys. If you've never tried, I know lots of people have a shower and then a shave. Give it a try the other way around. It'll change your life. But remember, you've got to tell everybody. Big John told me that. I'm sure I have something else to say, but I cannot remember it. Um... The Saturday shave. I have all my razors planned somewhere up there, you know. But just every now and again when something special comes along. Look, that's a, that's a skin blemish, that, that's a little lump. So Saturday shave this week, something I've been after for quite some time. Oh, that's good. Uh, and it's dependent upon the postman. So, do you see now, as a matter of fact, I'm going to do it. This soap is so slick. Let me lean in. Let me just... Look at this. Can you see? Can you see? I'll try and get the light. Do you know what? That's the slickness. I'm not going to... I'm not going to do leather mittens. I'm going to finish off just on, look at this, look at this, I could do guys, I could do a whole pass, look at that, just on, the residual slickness left over from that to back, and that guys is a shade, look at this, you don't get this kind of entertainment anywhere else do you? <laughs> I'm sure you do. But, uh, and that's us. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Bradley. Thank you, all you guys, for watching. Oh, my word. What a day. I'm going to have a nice long hot shower. I'm going to have a really, really big cup of tea while I upload this video ready for tonight. Um, come on. Let's get this aftershave on before we do. Let's check. Oh my word, do you know that is really deceptive, that is really really close, 
and my skin feels fantastic. There you go. So let's get this to back on there. I'll reapply this. <laughs> I probably told you. My wife says to me, mm, 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 mm. Oh, I had some tobacco shower gel and I took it to my son's when our shower was broke. And I made the mistake of leaving it there. I went back for it a week later. Not him, but my 11 year old grandson had found it. Absolutely loves it. And he's in the shower. Way! Woohoo! Give me this. Honestly, go. It's a bad shower gel. I mean, this stuff is super duper concentrated. And he used it in a week, bless him. So, uh, yeah, but he likes it. But my, every time I put this on, my wife says to me, you smell like an old man. And I say, I know. And isn't it fantastic? Woohoo! There you go. <laughs> and this stuff, guys, tobacco balm smells just like tobacco soap. So if you're unsure about the soap, get the tobacco balm. Or get the tobacco shaving stick. But this tobacco balm is phenomenal stuff. It's really good quality balm. And it smells just like the soap. It's absolutely wonderful. That's it. I'm putting it on. I'm going to make a cup of tea. I'm going to tickle about with a video for five or ten minutes before I go in the shower. And I'm going to go in the shower. And when I get out of the shower, I will reapply the balm to soften my skin. And that's how I shave, isn't it, though? Hey. We did okay, didn't we, guys? We did okay. Check that out. Smooth as a baby's bum. Yeah. <laughs> Some would say it looks like one. Okay, look after yourselves. I'm sorry it's a bit subdued and a bit of a flyer, guys. Um, but, you know, with work and family and things have opened up. I mean, I started this channel back in lockdown. I struggled sometimes to do it all and get it out there. Uh, but I wanted to get it up. I was gutted when I thought I wouldn't be able to get it up because I planned on family and granddaughter and wife and so on being here. But as it worked out, I got a chance to come in and film it and get it uploaded. So hopefully the postman's kind to me uh, and we'll have a good shave lined up for you Saturday morning. So remember the chant, postman, postman, don't be slow. Be like Elvis. <laughs> go, man, go. Where does this stuff come from? I'll see you Saturday. Bye.